Hi guys, welcome to my video. So today we're going to be talking about how to make your crochet more weather resistant. So this is perfect for outdoor use. Um, obviously we can never make it fully waterproof because cotton and acrylic yarn naturally aren't waterproof materials themselves. So we can make them make your things much more weather resistant for things like wind spinners, wind chimes, just outdoor decorations in general. Um, I'm going in this video. I'm going to be showing you what I used. Um, a quick demo of how to use it and also I'm going to show you at the end the difference between a treated and untreated um, piece of crochet work. So we're going to put it to the test to make sure that it really does actually help. Um, I'm also at a later date I'm going to hang these outdoors um, for several days once making sure that we've had some bad weather and then I'm going to see how they hold up afterwards at the end like keeping the shape, colour um, and obviously how dry they actually are. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to quickly lift camera up so that you can see. So I've I've done some samples there. I've got a cotton four ply, a cotton double knit and an acrylic double knit. Um, as you can see there I've also got a sample. This sample here I'm going to be putting some drops of water on them in a moment and then I'm going to leave it to sit and I'm going to see, I'm going to unravel it afterwards and I'm going to see how much water has managed to seep down into the cardboard underneath because they're just wrapped around a piece of cardboard. Um, so going back to the waterproofing spray, it's an aerosol can. Um, I've managed to find this in a standard um, high street shoe store. It's a universal waterproofing spray. So it can be used on leather and fabric. So it's really important that it can be used on fabric. Um, it was super cheap, only £3.99 and that's for a 300 ml can. Okay, um, the instructions I'll go through with you as I've got a, slow, I've got a small video of me quickly giving it the first coat um, for you to have a look at there. Super easy to use, super affordable, and yeah, just I can't believe I didn't think of using it sooner. Okay, so that's that for now, that's for the introduction, and I will cut off now and get back to you once I've um, Move my camera so that you can see the test being produced. Right, so we've moved the camera. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go and put the drops of water onto the two test pieces. So I've got a piece of acrylic yarn on this side and I've got the cotton yarn on this side. And it's just, just to compare to see if there is any difference. So I'm literally just going to put a couple of drops on each one. Two, three on that one, three on that one, one, two, three on that one, one, two, on that one okay so um, I'm just going to leave those now while we do the rest of the demo video and then we'll come back to them and see how they're looking afterwards okay so I've got a little bowl here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically pour water onto the a coated acrylic yarn um, piece of crochet work and a non coated piece um, the reason I'm not doing it with the cottons, I will do this with the cottons, but I'm not going to compare the coated versus the uncoated because when I've done it myself, the colours don't change um, as it gets wet. So you won't actually see the difference on the video itself. So I'm just going to show you the comparison between the two acrylics. I will quickly just show you what it does on the cotton. So this is a cotton double knit. And as you can see, the water is just pouring off. There's a little bit on there, of course, there's surface residue, but if I was to dab that onto a paper towel, it will come off dry. Um, so now moving on to the acrylic, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do the uncoated first. So this is the uncoated. So I'm just going to pour off, starting from one side to the other. So it's got a good portion on top. And as you can see, that's gone straight through and soaked as you can see by the color change that one there now this is the coated one i haven't gone too crazy i haven't ever coated it too heavily because i didn't want to risk um the texture i didn't want to compromise the texture and the flexibility of the shape and as you can see you actually wouldn't know it was there it doesn't leave any form of colored residue no white powder it's not stiff in any way nothing like that so now i'm just going to pour again in a circle And as you can see, it kind of just forms a bubble and just falls off. So that's the uncoated, uh, sorry, that's the coated. 
and this is the uncoated. So you can see which one is nice and dry. Um, obviously there will be surface water on there, but if you were to, like I've dabbed it with a paper towel, so I've just taken the surface water off, now that is dry to touch. Whereas the uncoated, I dabbed that one with a paper towel, you can see how much more water there is on there. And of course, it is still sat within the fibers. It's still soaking wet. It's still really heavy and probably would lose shape. So that's the difference that it does make. So it does work and it does a really good job. So we'll go back to these little test pieces here. As you can see, this is actually run off the acrylic with the waterproof coating. It's, it's just got a bubble sat on top because the waterproof it just it just runs off i don't know where it's gone on the cotton so that'll be interesting to see if there's any leakage underneath um, and these are the uncoated pieces as you can see by the color change like i said with the cotton you can hardly see the change you can see it's slightly darker in the middle there but not a lot i'm just going to unravel i mean it might not even have soaked through because they are quite thick but i am just going to unravel just in case to see if there is a difference there And as you can see, the, I'm just down to the last layer now, and that was quite a thick layer of yarn, all of that there. So it's not made it onto the cardboard. However, you can see that it has seeped down through the layers. Um, so we'll just unravel this acrylic one as well. This one's the one with the coating. And I'm sure you think what I think too, that obviously, yeah, no discoloration there whatsoever. So it really does make a huge difference. Of course, like I said, it's never gonna be completely waterproof because that's just not the nature of the the um, the materials that you're using. But I think for £3.99 and a quick spray over, and, uh, and actually I forgot to mention as well, when I showed you how to do the coating on my outside video, I said that I'd check back with you and let you know how quickly they dried. And I was, think, I was expecting to wait a good sort of 10, 15 minutes to be, you know, properly dry. But actually it was lit, it was within five minutes. I, I, I dried it outside. Um, but yeah, literally five minutes and it was dry. I couldn't believe how quickly it, how quick it was. Um, so if you prefer, obviously you can add extra coats on. I only did one thin layer um, and then a quick spray back over as you will see on the video. Um, but yeah, so... I mean, there's not really much more I can say other than obviously you don't have to just do front and back. If it's a bit more intricate, you could do your spray your sides and obviously if you've got any bobble stitches, things like that, where it's a bit more of a 3D, you want to make sure that you're moving it while you're coating it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, other than that, that sums up really. So yeah, go outside guys, go get yourself some universal weatherproof waterproofing spray and um, happy crocheting. Okay, so I've come outdoors to give it a spray. Um, on the instructions, it says spray clean surfaces evenly from a distance of approximately 15 to 20 centimeters and then allow to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a spray and see, I'm outdoors at the moment, um, and to see how long it's gonna take for them to dry off. So it's just gonna have a quick coat. I'm giving them a, a light-ish spray. But I'm going to go over again just to make sure that it is all covered. I'm only going to do the top side. I'll do the second side once this is dry. And I'll come back to you and let you know how long it's actually taken to air dry. Hi guys. Uh, just a quick one. Just to get, say thank you again for watching the video. Um, and if you enjoyed your, our content and you'd like to see some more from us, please hit the subscribe button. And you'll be kept up to date with our new videos as they're released. And also if you wanted to pop a like onto this one, that would be really appreciated. Um, until next time, guys, thanks again for watching and happy crocheting.